Today I'd like to give a review on my Craftsman 320, M320. I've had this mower now for a couple months and I've used it multiple times. I want to get out there and use it multiple times before I give my honest review on it. And by no means am I being sponsored by Craftsman. So after we got that crap out of the way, let's get started. Okay, they're looking at the mower. It's a mighty fine, good looking mower, you know? It's a big size mower. This mower was built to handle rugged territory like my yard is. It is rear wheel self propelled. It's made for that territory that's rugged and hilly. Now let me tell you about the good things I like about the mower. This will be real easy. It's rear wheel. I like that. That's the only damn thing I like about it. Let me tell you things I don't like about this mower. For starters, the size of the mower, it being an M320, you would think it'd have a lot of power. Nuh-uh. It has troubles mowing the higher grass. It's also a gas hog, and with gas prices these days, that's not that good. Yes, it uses a lot of gas, well, it's a bigger engine, but you couldn't tell it mowing the higher grass. My smaller mower up there actually does better going through higher grass. It's a Briggs & Stratton engine. That means no choke and no oil changing. This might sound funny, I don't like that part either. I like to change the oil on my mowers, it's just, you know. Now, the biggest problem, I told you it has trouble going through the higher grass. Let me tell you the biggest problem I have with this mower, and I absolutely hate this problem. Okay, to start the mower, obviously you gotta pull this back to start it. But the self-propelled is this part right here. And you have to steer it with this thing right here. Guys, I'm here to tell you that is a pain in the butt. Now, if you're just mowing in straight lines and on even ground, that's not a problem, right? And the self-propelled works excellent. But if you're mowing yards like my hill here and you're coming down, let me show you. Okay, let's say you're mowing a hill like mine. This is one of the reasons I bought the damn mower. You're coming on down, and you can't tell this out on the video that much, but we are on a steep grade. Trying to turn the mower here with that setup is nothing but a nightmare. It is a pain in the butt. Plus, the mower weighs a lot of pounds. I absolutely hate that part. But if you're going straight up and down in straight lines, it shouldn't be a problem. But turning that thing on a dime is. All the other mowers I had before this one, which was self-propelled, but they was front wheel, I never had that problem. Only this one. I don't know why it's set up this way. And you have to push it forward to go. It takes a little bit to get used to. Maybe I'm just not used to it. I had to buy a bigger mower to fit my yard. This mower cost me $500. 500 big ones. And remember, I told you I don't like the high grass. The one I have for the front yard, yes, I have two different mowers. I have a special mower up for the front yard. It's not self-propelled, it's a smaller mower. It only cost me $250, and mowing through higher grass, it did a lot better than this one. Now, when I first got this mower, this is the other thing I didn't like about it. When I first got the mower, hi Stormy, how you doing baby? That's my dog. I went straight over, went straight down the fence line, had all kinds of trouble turning it, came right through here, and as I went to this fence line right here, and this is not even a minute and a half after I started, as soon as I started going up the hill, white smoke started pouring out of the mower. Just pouring out. That only means one thing to me, too much oil, but no. It didn't have no oil in the mower when I bought it. It gave a small bottle of oil and they say put the whole contents in and it read normal everything was fine but yet white smoke and started pour, white smoke started pouring out of the mower and it started going burp, 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 burp. but once i got on the top and all the white smoke came out it hasn't done it since then let me tell you something else it does when i am mowing the yard and it doesn't matter if the grass is too high or not the engine makes a weird sound sometimes it sounds like it's struggling 
Now it could be because I have it on the mulch setting. If I have it where it blew the grass out, that might take care of that problem. It's possible the grass is building up and underneath of it. But still, the one on top doesn't do that. And it's $250 cheaper. Now why didn't I, why don't I use the other one on this? Because it's not self-propelled. As you see, I have a monstrous hill here. I have a lot of property to mow back here. So guys, was it worth it? That's a hard question. It does get the job done. And yes, it does a good job. I've used it this morning. It did a fabulous, it did a fantastic job. Except it's a little tough for me to turn the thing the way it's set up. And it gets the job done, so yes, it was worth it. Was it worth 500 bucks? No. Mm -mm. Do I like the setup on it? No. Do I like the mower? No. But... It's bought and paid for it. I had to work an extra job to get it. So there's my review. What's this mean to you? I don't know. This is my personal review. You may have the same mower and it may be excellent. So if you ask me, would I suggest you go out and get a mower just like this? I would say shop around. Maybe rear wheel may not be what you need. Because that is an issue. As you can see, i never done anything like that before. Maybe it just takes me getting used to it. But I would say shop around. It could just be this mower. I think I paid way too much on it. For the money I paid, you think it would do a better job. Oh, it does cut great. Don't get me wrong. But it's hard to turn around corners. And it makes a funny sound when you're mowing through the grass. And not to mention, what the hell was up with all that white smoke? If any of you guys know what that was all about, leave it down there. And no, it was not an overfill of the of the oil. I thought maybe it was going up the grade. You know, my grass here, the grade, is dang near straight up. I thought maybe that was the problem. But it wasn't because it didn't do it today. I only did it that one time and I have no clue. So guys, that's been my review of my craftsman. Yeah! Now let's get on to some better videos. Let's get some lots of nature. Getting ready to do some fishing later on this afternoon or this evening. And I plan on doing some video footage there and with a time lapse. And it may be possible we may be fishing at the Ohio River. So guys, until next time, come on. Let's get out of here. Leave me comments down there. Do you have a craftsman just like this? What might cause the white smoke? And how in the hell do you get around turning sharp current? How the hell do you get around making sharp turns with this setup right here? Because I have to use this to get the thing to go. I can use this, but this thing is so heavy, it's really bulky to push. All right, guys. Until next time, we'll catch you in the next couple days on the next video. Come on, let's get out of here.